Hello guys, it is I Tall Sunny, and today we are going to be fusing all of the mangles together to make multi mangle. And if you're unaware, this is the fourth episode in a series of me fusing FNAF animatronics together. So if you want to watch the other ones, you don't have to, but the description will have a link to them below. But as you can tell by the thumbnail, I am including Lolbit and Funtime Foxy in this. I just feel like Funtime Foxy is so close to Mango visually, I might as well add them in this group. But also, Lolbit is in sister location as well, but I couldn't find a good model of them, so I used the FNAF World model. And of course, before sister location Funtime Foxy, there was FNAF World Funtime Foxy, which I guess could best be described as a fixed version of Mangle. It's a little bit weird lore-wise, but hey, I feel like these guys fit in this group, so they're here. And without further ado, let's begin the speed paint. As a heads up, I did only record the sketch footage because that was all the space I really had on my tablet left, so there you go. Regardless, I was still struggling with trying to make the front-facing snout shape look normal. Foxy, I felt like I struggled on for a while, but Mangle was even worse because Mangle has such a weird jaw shape specifically. I don't know. But outside of trying to get the jaw to look right, I feel like this was a pretty easy and simple process, but Mangle doesn't look that interesting in the end, I'm gonna say. Um, I'll be honest, I just completely excluded all aspects of Phantom Mangle because they're just a recolor, but then again, Lolbit is also just a recolor, so I don't know clearly. And because I like Lolbit's color palette and Mangle's normal color palette, I decided that I would just do Duotone, half and half. And I even added an extra color to their color palette. Like, there is light purple in the shading of the white on Funtime Foxy or Lolbit, but it's not an actual part of their character design, that's just the lighting in there. So, I feel bad that I added an extra completely new color that isn't even related to the design, but also I felt like the design needed a fifth color. And then I also struggled a little bit with the face because the eyes were a bit of a mess because obviously I wanted to do one of the black and white eyes because Lolbit and Mangle has it, but then I was also wondering whether I should add extra eyeshadow or eyelashes because some of them do, some of them don't, and then there was also the question of should I add the strong thick eyebrows that Funtime Foxy has because my normal Foxy also has them, so I don't know. It just kept looking weird and I flip-flop on them a lot. But one thing I did know from the beginning is that I really, really wanted for there to be a more rectangular ice shape towards the corner of the eye so that I at least could incorporate Nightmare Mangle in that way because Nightmare Mangle does have an interesting eye shape, so that's where they're included. But also, um, for the endoskeleton buddy that Mangle has, the second head, I did try to take aspects from the Nightmare endoskeleton as well, but I don't know if that's well reflected. It's difficult. It's difficult. M Phantom Mangle just isn't here at all, and then Nightmare Mangle was considered, but is hard to really read if you don't know what you're looking for. But also, um, I will say Mangle's body is very complicated, and I decided to simplify it. I just decided to make a neck, two legs, and then two arms, but they're on one side of her body, and then the head. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, um. I did add a tail like I did to Foxy. I just feel like the foxes deserve to have fox tails, because why not? Though I did add little chips of damage here and there, and for the bow tie, I did make it quite big, but I also made it multicolor, so I don't know. I think it's a cool design. I don't know if it really represents the group I picked from as a whole. I tried. I will say though, out of all my fusion animatronics, Mangle is the only one with face plates, which does make them stand out a lot. But also it makes sense because of the sister location characters, I did only reference Funtime Foxy and Funtime Freddy, but Funtime Freddy was in the first video and I didn't know what I was doing for the series back then, so it makes sense, alright? Though I will say, out of all the characters with an excuse to look weird or different, Mangle literally has it built into their lore. The lore? ripped apart and put back together by children. So maybe some weird scrap pieces found their way into the pile of Mangle. It wouldn't be out of the question, you know. It's certainly possible, so I guess Mangle is exempt from whatever design flaws I might have made. Yay! But also, I do feel like 
my mangle just looks like mangle. It's not a very special variant other than the fact that it is split colored, but if you put it on grayscale, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference really, so I don't know. I truly don't know how to feel. I did try making it a little bit more unique, but I didn't want to go over to the top, but also, as you can see from the selection of characters, there wasn't that many opportunities because most of them are very similar. So, yeah. Also, you can't get mad at me for not including the phantoms in this series at this point. They are just recolors, but most of them don't even have models I can pick from. You see the screenshot, right? How am I supposed to decipher anything from that? It's just difficult, you know? You know. Though, I did decide to add boxy coils to certain parts of the endoskeletons and then only lines to other parts to further emphasize the fact that Mangle has a lot of different pieces from different places going on. So, yeah. And of course, there are wires because Mangle is damaged and stuff like that. But the speed paint is almost over. And I can't wait for you to see them because I feel like a lot of people like this, even though it's not that special of the design. It really just feels like original Mangle, but a little bit cooler, maybe, if that's your opinion. I don't know. Also, yes, I did use Multifoxy as a reference. That's just because I was having troubles with the snout mainly, but also so I can get an idea for what I want to do with the eyes, because for a second there, I was tempting to do the eyes more like multi Freddy's, but since everyone else has the white pupil thing going on, I decided to switch back. In the middle of making the art for Mangle, though, I was contemplating whether or not I should add the eyeshadow, and in the end, I just decided to fuse the layer, and if it bothered me so much, I could just go over it in white, and it wouldn't be a big issue. But I never really felt like going over it in white, so it's just there. I hope you guys like the eyeshadow. It's a little bit polarizing, but they also don't have eyebrows, so I don't know. There needs to be something going on with their giant forehead other than just the face plates. Here is their final design sheet with the color palette and everything, and then here is the final drawing with them. Yes, I reused the background, but this time I decided to add a black and white filter, or a black and white gradient, and it actually looks cool this time around. So yeah, I really like the final product of Mangle. Probably not the most interesting or original design I've made, but it looks very good in the lineup so far. Only a few more animatronics left, and then I'll be done with this series. It's pretty crazy how far we've gotten with this, but I wonder what y'all's opinion is. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a good day, morning, night, whatever time it is when you're watching this, and just have a good time. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys later.